Knee and hip replacements affect 800,000 Australians and that number is increasing every year. Doctors are turning to new technology to deal with the growing demand. A Sydney hospital now using a robot to produce better results. 58-year-old Jenny Fordry had surgery as a last resort. For 20 years, she tried everything to relieve the pain in her arthritic right knee. Her x-ray reveals little cushioning between the two bones. It was like a nagging pain it was, and every now and then it would just grab. Jenny was eligible for a partial knee replacement, requiring two implants on the damaged side. But the problem with a partial knee replacement that's not placed accurately is that we can see early failure. So Sydney Adventist Hospital has deployed this, new robotic technology to more accurately pinpoint the area that needs fixing. So with the introduction of this technology we're able to now more precisely um, and more predictably um, perform these operations. First, the system runs a virtual test of the implant. The patient's knee is flexed to see whether it's the right fit. The area shaded green marks out the boundary the surgeon needs to cut out. The robotic arm with its ball tip and tiny teeth then helps the doctor remove the damaged cartilage and bone while preserving healthy tissue. The robot sets those virtual boundaries to make sure that the plan is executed properly. The system comes with three safety features, including a warning sound if the cutting tool veers off course and the robot shuts down if there's a problem. While the Mako robot is currently being used for partial knee replacements, the plan is to gradually roll out the same platform for surgery involving total hip replacements and total knees. It was such a new and exciting procedure and I just thought, let's go for it. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.